My name is Sky. Do you want to read a story with me? This book is called Leela Learns to Ride. School is closed. No school, no fun. Ding ding, ding ding, ding ding. I will learn to ride the bicycle, says Leela. She sits on the bicycle. Thud! She falls down. Boo hoo! She can't stop crying. Then Didi holds the bicycle. Leela climbs up again. Right pedal, left pedal. One, two, three. Leela is riding. Wee! Leela can't wait to ride to school now. On the last page, there aren't any words. But Leela looks happy, don't you think? This book is called "I Can Dress Myself." The first page doesn't have any words, but it looks like we're in someone's house. Second page doesn't have any words either, but it looks like Mum's sleeping. Third page doesn't have any words, but it looks like she's trying to wake up Mum. Or is she looking for her doll? She's got a chair, and it looks like she's trying to climb up a shelf. What do you think? She's digging through a drawer. Which drawer do you think it is? Oh, is this the part where she's trying to dress herself? Because her mummy was asleep. She's under a bed and looking for something that looks like green slime. Yuck! Or is it her thong? She's looking under her bed for a thong. She's found some socks on the washing line. Not sure if standing on the sink is a good idea though. Looking for more clothes. She's found some pants and a shirt. I'm not sure whose shirt that is though. And now she's gone back to her mummy. She looks like she might have a sock on one hand and one thong, but no thong on the other foot. Hi, mum. I guess she has dressed herself. Have you ever tried to dress yourself? And if you did, did you end up with undies on your head? Our next book is called Bow Meow Wow. On this page, we have no words, but we can see a picture of a puppy dog. Bow. Oh no, the dog has knocked it over. And now it's making a mess everywhere. It's covered in yellow, and it's going up to the sleeping cat. Meow! The cat has been scared awake, and now it's covered in red paint. Do you think that cat looks angry? They're still fighting. Do you think the colours are changing? What happens when you mix red with yellow? Now they're both orange, except the cat is running away. Oh. Dear, what do you think's gonna happen? Oh no! Her painting. This cat and dog are running amok. They've destroyed the whole room, but they don't look angry anymore. Wow! They've made an artwork by accident. Maybe that's why their owner is smiling. And that was Bow Meow Wow. Our next book is called. The race, and this is the front page. Four friends want to have a race with their toys. Veen has a green car. Mina has a yellow auto. Sandu has a red bus. Manju has a blue lorry. Ready? One, two, three, go! Here comes Lucky. Ha ha! Lucky has joined the race. Look! Look! Lucky is the fastest of them all. Lucky wins the race, and that book was called The Race. This next book is called Bedtime Stories. My Emma tells me a story every night. There is one story about a frog which talks. From the picture, it seems like the frog talks on the telephone too. There is another story about a king with a long beard. And possibly a mouse hiding in that beard. Sometimes it is about a flying elephant. In one story, a fox and a tiger are friends. The tiger falls into a hole. How will the tiger get out? Then the clever fox saves the tiger. This is the best story. I listen to the story and then fall asleep. Do you have a favourite bedtime story? This next book is called The Bee and the Elephant, and this is the front page. It looks like they're friends already, don't you think? Or at least the bee looks happy. I am lost," said Little Bee. "I cannot find my home. Can you please help me, Mr. Elephant? 
Is this nest your home, little bee? The elephant asked. Oh no, cried little bee. This is a bird's home. That bird looks pretty angry, don't you think? Is this cave your home? Asked the elephant. Oh no, this is a bat's home. Is this hive your home, little bee? Oh yes, said little bee happily. This is my home. Thank you for helping me, Mr. Elephant. And this last page doesn't have any words, but it looks like they've become friends, don't you think? It's Aussie Treehouse!